Hi there. Welcome to Alima to Saadia Vlogs. My name is Halid and I'll be introducing you to this channel. This channel is dedicated to talking about the life experiences of Kadamas in Kuwait and other Gulf countries. If you are interested in knowing about the life experiences of people who travel, especially those who travel to Gulf countries to work as Kadamas, then you are at the right channel. Make sure to join this family by simply subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so so much for clicking. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider by subscribing to the channel. Let us hit 3k soon, yeah. So guys, in today's video, I am here to talk about some certain things if you want to come to Kuwait here or any Gulf countries what you need to know before you pay that huge amount of money to the agents okay we have some people like trying their best to come to gulf countries here to better their life but some of them coming here they don't even know the type of work that they are coming to do but they will pay that huge amount of money to the agent and the agent will not also tell them please if you're watching this video and you are planning to come and work in gulf country here when you start your process ask the agent what type of job you are coming to do here before you pay that money to the agent if they tell you the job and you can do it okay come but don't keep quiet and pay that money to the agent then you will reach here then when they give you the work you cannot do it okay let me start from here one lady chatted me on IG, okay. She said, Halima, I got agent and the agent has started doing my process. So he said, when I come to Kuwait, they are coming to pay me 250KD monthly. And this is the money that the agent is requesting from me. So it is good. And I was like, okay, what type of job are you coming to do in Kuwait here? She said, she don't know. The agent didn't tell her. And I was like, no, you are wrong. You have to ask the agent what type of job you are coming to do. Whether housework, because even housework these days, they are not allowing right now. Right now, it's not allowed for you to come and work uh, as a housemaid in Kuwait or Kadama. Only visa 18, free visa, yeah, company work. For that one, yeah, it's allowed right now. So, like, ask the agent what type of job that you are coming to do before you pay that money. So, what if you pay that money and you come here and the work that they will give it to you, you cannot do it. Like, you have wasted your money. Okay, let me use this, my brother, on for example. One of my brothers in Qatar, like, we are family like that, yeah, in Qatar. He has been there for more than six months now. He has not started working yet. So in March, paying that huge amount of money, coming here to work, then you have come here, and then the work that they have given to you, like, you cannot do it, and you are in the house. So in March, if you were using that money back home to do some business for say, this six months, or seven months now, in March, you, you would have get something later on top of the money, right? So this age that this guy came to Qatar and then they said he is coming to do delivery job, riding motors, like when someone buy food, like you like I hope you guys understand delivery job. Yeah, you deliver the food to the house or the item to the house. So this guy too don't know how to ride moto. So in March, guys, he don't know how to ride moto, he don't know how to ride car. But like the agent didn't tell him what type of job he was coming to do. He too, he didn't ask because what he think is that when he come, the work is there for him to do, but he don't know. As I am talking to you guys, this guy got accident. I don't know if the pictures will not disturb YT policy. I would have put it on the screen for all of us to see. He's back here. All the meat is gone. And he said some of the guys said some someone had here he got problem. In fact, it is not easy. So if you want to come and work in Gulf Country here, before you start the process, like ask the the agent what type of job that you are coming to do here. Okay, before you pay that huge amount of money to the agent, because it is not easy for you to come and be here for some month without working. Now this guy is in the house; he is not working because he's not good at riding the motor. And we all know how busy Gulf countries here are. Anytime that I take videos from outside, you guys see how the road is busy. And in fact, the way they drive, it, it is crazy. And <clears throat> when you are a foreigner and then something happens like that, they will put the blame on you. This is my brother that I'm talking about. Like it happens between him and the locals, okay? They put the blame on him and even put some fun on him that he is going to pay, but the problem wasn't from him. So in fact, here and when you come here, you didn't comport yourself. Na bake wahala. 
So please, when you are coming here, know the type of job you are coming to do. Okay. Now this guy is in the house without working. And when you want to come and work here too, when they go and do you the medicals, read it by yourself and see that if, if everything is correct. Because when you come here and there's some problem with you, you cannot work. Because here, the way the weather, if it is summer, is very hot. And you know, those working outside, it is not easy to work here in summertime like that. Okay. So please take care and... Take care and know how to do your things when you come in here, okay? And when you come here to one of the law that I don't like it is the company that you came, okay? The company that you came to work with, when they do your ikama for you and your papers for you, like they will not allow you to go to another company to work. That is the problem. So this guy now, he came here as a, a, a delivery guy. Now he cannot ride motor or car. So... He cannot go to any place to work, you know, because even if he go to another company, the company will not accept him because it's not that company who provide the visa and the papers for uh, him. Okay, so they will not even accept him because when they accept him and the other company sees, uh, sees what is going on, they find that they will put it to the new company. It's not small money. You see, these are the things that like... It's not good. It's not good. You see, it's not that we, the ladies, when you are coming here to work in the house, even if you come here and your employer don't like you, they will take you back to your agent and then bring in another one. But it's not like those working in the company is not allowed like that. Before you can go out, you need to pay all the money that the company spent on you before you can move to another company. And you see, the other day, the interview that between me and Ben, that he was saying that when you come to they collect your passport. Me, I thought it's only the we the ladies that they collect the passport from us. You see? So it's not easy. It's not easy. For example, some people have been chatting me, they want to come here. So one day I got one agent, I give it to uh, the guy to see if he can do the process. So he asked the agent and, and then the agent said it's two point one million naira, which is two thousand seven hundred plus dollars. I stand for correction because I'm not good at uh, in Niger money. Yeah, I don't know much about Niger money, but I know 2.1 million naira is 2,700 and something dollars. So in March, if just uh, for example that I am making, you know, if this guy paid that 2.1 million naira, then he got his papers to come to Kuwait here. And then the work that they have given to him to do and he cannot do. So in March, did this huge amount of money. If he used it to do some business in his country, I think some year to come, he's going to get something like small on top of it. So you see, so in God's country here, it's not easy. So it's not easy. So please, I beg, when you are coming here, ask the agent, what is the job? Know what you are coming to do before you go and pay that money. You see, because some some agents will be like, oh, the work is there for you. Or the work is there waiting for you. Then you will reach here and then the work is not there. You see, it's not fair. It's not fair. And when you come to the work that they will give it to you, when you want to change it to another company, it is not allowed. And when you go to the company, say they are not going to accept you. You see the problem. And then they will keep you in the house. This guy that I'm talking about right now in Qatar, he is in the house. He has not started work yet because he is not good at what they give it to him. So I don't know. They can even change it to give him like as a cleaner or to wash the dishes or other things. Like they can do it because here is abroad. It's not like Ghana that you'll be like, oh, me and man going to wash dishes. Like at least at the end of the month, the money that they are going to give it to you. Not be small money. Oh, so yeah, this is what I want to share with you guys. And those of you who want to travel to also know when you want to come what are some of the things so i'm just giving you guys the guidelines yeah i'm not an agent yeah yeah i'm not an agent but i'm just giving you guys the guidelines and what i have seen or what i have heard yeah for you guys to be careful when you want to come here because in this time it is not easy to get that huge amount of money from africa then you will come here being in the house without working you will be depressed you will think a lot even your mentor will not be stable in fact so see you in my next video bye